young men and women, I ask you this. We've tried things our way. We chose to live our way, not God's, not our parents. I ask you with an honest answer, and I'll leave that with you. Where did you end up? Hurting yourself, destroying your future, and getting somewhere feeling absolutely empty, void, lost, no sense of direction any longer. I have mixed with so many young men and, and women, and I've seen what the temptation of this world can do to any one of us. It can destroy a human because the world is placed in the bosom of Satan. I can assure you, <laughs> Satan does exist. And his only problem is this stunning and breathtaking, this beautiful, gorgeous Jewish guy, his name is Jesus. His, his problem is with the Lord Jesus, no one else. But when you meet the Lord Jesus on the other side, then what is happening in the world is a laughable matter. All the superpowers that come and, and uh, flex their elbows and show their muscles to the Lord, He can blow them away just with a blink of an eye. And He will we need to change our life. Stop just thinking materialism. Think spirituality. Stop looking at the mud and the filth of this world. Climb up to the mountain. Because the mountain is the highest place in this globe, in this world. When you go to the top of the mountain, what do you see after the mountain? Heaven. The sky. When you look at the, at the sky on a clear day, there is purity. There is holiness. There is sincerity. There is dignity. It's high. It's elevated. It is exalted. At the foot of the mountain, there is slavery and bondage. Do not be a slave to whatever the world offers. Step on it and climb up.